Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why is this video called 60 Second Reviews if it's longer than 60 seconds? Well, my friends, that is because this is the very first video in this segment. I figured that an introduction was necessary, so... This particular video is actually going to be up on three different channels. It's going to be up on my very own channel as sort of a swan song kind of thing, because my channel is soon to be... I wouldn't say replaced, but... All of the Game to Death members are now going to collaborate on a single channel known as Game to Death, so... This may be one of the last videos we'll be posting on my channel, at least in regard to Game to Death related stuff, so... And then finally it will be on the Shiny Ditto channel, so which is the fan channel of Adam and Ditto, so those of you watching from that, greetings. So, pretty much no matter where you're watching from, you know, thanks for watching this, and I hope you enjoy it, and welcome to here. Basically the name says it all, I'm going to be reviewing games over a 60 second time frame, so I think that's about it. And if you're not aware by now, but I can't meet deadlines to save a shaman's life, so don't hold your breath. Kill streak. Welcome to 60 Second Reviews. Today I'm reviewing checkers for the Atari 2600. I'm not exactly a jack of all trades, but I'm enjoying some checkers every now and then, and I've got to say, on that point, this game doesn't fail to deliver. It's an incredibly realistic digital experience. You're thrown into the action immediately when you turn the system on. The cluttered menus are garbage, cutscenes, and ultra realistic checkers work complete with checkers pieces. Checkers is one of those games that's easy to pick up and difficult to master, so thankfully there are entire three different difficulties to choose from novice and immediate expert. Once you know it, I've lost all three. If you happen to have some dedicated friends that are actually willing to play this game with you, and that's always an option, but just to speed the reviewing process, I'm just going to pull myself. Totally not playing on anything. The game control is pretty much how you would expect it, that is, if you expect to have it in Mystic Diagonally, I'm totally not playing on emulators. The soundtrack is cleverly mapped to reflect the simplicity of the game, just one beat, nothing unnecessary. It wouldn't be a true review if I failed to mention some of the game's flaws, but unless it has a few, the weakest link in this chain is without out of the story. There's nothing to it, a six-year-old could have written a better script. Why are the checkers attacking each other? Where did they come from? These questions are never answered. Why? I guess we're going to have to wait for a second. Also, I might just be nitpicking out, but there's this weird pause that occurs when opponents turn increases difficulty. Of course, there could just be a problem in my emulator. Despite its flaws, this game has stood the test of time. Literally, I've been playing this around for like three days now. Hi! So, in conclusion, Checkers gets a 20 out of 10 bullet points. So I can't be playing on an emulator because I got the game cartridge right here, so here's proof that I'm not playing on an emulator right, right now. I'm not even kidding, I literally I haven't even beaten the CPU yet, so... I hate my life. 